Sending out email newsletters is one of the most common tools small business owners will use to market themselves online. This month we reviewed Litmus App. Litmus App is designed to let you see how your newsletter will appear in different email clients before you send it. They don't offer a trial version, so we're going to log in and give you a tour. So now we arrive at the main page. We can either create a new email test to test one of our broadcast campaigns, or we can find out what one of our web pages would look like in a variety of browsers. The difference between these is that the email test will test about 45 different browsers and email clients, whereas the page test will test a smaller number of browsers. So let's go ahead and do a new email test. We'll just click here. I've been logged into the system before and have a variety of email clients selected as my defaults. You can also customize this list, but in our case we're going to use the defaults. So I click on the Start Test button and it'll open up this window, giving us two options. You can check your newsletter by sending the newsletter to this email address. This is generated as a different address every time. Or you can upload your email's HTML, which is what I would prefer. So we're going to make this test one. We could paste it in here, or we can browse on our hard drive for the file. Once we've located the file, we select it, click Open, and then just run Start the Test. So as you can see, once we start the test, we get notified that it's going to take approximately five minutes to complete our test. And it doesn't take long for screenshots to start to appear. We don't have to wait for all the screenshots. We can actually start looking at these right away. So I'm going to click on the iPhone. And one of the really neat things about Litmus App is that with the smartphones, it actually lets you scroll and see the entire newsletter on the smartphone. Now this looks good, so I'm going to check the green checkbox. I can navigate back and forth. For example, I can move on to the iPad and see how the newsletter is going to look on this device. However, since not all the screenshots have loaded, I'm better off to go back to the overview or else just wait. So now you can see that a lot more screenshots have loaded in. We don't need to look at them each individually. Instead, now we want to take a look at the spam analysis tool in this program. Each newsletter is analyzed to see whether it's likely to make it through common spam filters. You can see that our newsletter passed most filters, but it failed too, Postini and Barracuda. The program tells you the score that it failed with, and it gives you some reasons why the email failed. The one concern I did have is that these reasons are not specific and detailed. They say these are some of the reasons as to why your email did not pass, but it doesn't say that these are all of the reasons. The next step is to send your newsletter once you fix the things that you found. There's an analytics tool in Litmus Apps that's available in some of the more advanced accounts. This lets you monitor how your email is being opened. To use the analytics feature, we simply track a new campaign, give our campaign a name, we're going to call this test1, and say create this campaign and generate my tracking code. This is going to generate some tracking code that you're just going to paste into your newsletter. When you send the newsletter with a tracking code, as people start to access your newsletter, the data about how they've accessed the newsletter will appear right here. We can click back on the Analytics Toolbar button, and we can take a look at some data from one of our test ones. So as you can see, there's an overview page that tells us the engagement and the top email clients used. We can also see if anybody forwarded it and if anybody printed the newsletter. Now the engagement looks at a couple of things. It looks at essentially how long someone opened your email and it infers whether or not they read it based on how long the email was open. The top email clients gives you an idea of what browsers people are using, which again will help you go back and build your own tailored list. Now if you wanted to use Litmus App to test how your web page is going to look in a different web browser, we would just click on Tests, click a new page test, type the name in right here, select our target browsers by default or by selecting from the full list, and say start the test. In essence, it works the same way as the email client. So that's a really quick introduction to Litmus App. Hopefully this helps you evaluate how it could be of use in your business.